If you're pointing a stick, you have to like go out of your way to find the R3 button and be like, Bloop. Yeah, some sticks don't have R3. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or sometimes it's like on the side underwards. Right. Under a cap. You got to unlatch the buttons. Exactly. Oh. That was a interesting place, Needle. It does land and it gets him the knockdown right away. This is not the situation you want to be in. Eno got to take her own stuff. Yes. This is honestly... This is a matchup that just flipped the coin. Who gets started, who's going to flip more coins? Yeah. And they both get to feel bad about themselves. Oh, well, nice low. And this is once again just showing why Raven is the character that everyone detests. It's really hard to find out wh or find your spot of when you can burst against this character, which is really not a good thing you want to hear about a set play character like this. Yeah. Oh, nice block on the dust. I mean, a big thing is though is like right now what's happening is that Dark Hero is doing nothing to stop his approach. Mm. And that's honestly like the first check mark if you're a Raven player. You're just like, can they stop me from approaching? If they can't, it's a field day. You get to go nuts. Yeah, because then what's the point of ball if I can just glide in at any time anyway? Well, it also just gives you more chances to go in because you have more options to like the glide high low, you know, glide, land low, things mm. like that. Yeah, plus, uh, also, he can just be full screen as far as he wants to and just throw the needle until finally he can. Oh, he was going for the throw there. I respect it. Dr. Hero, however, holding up. Gets, gets sniped by the wife of Crusher. Yeah. Here we go. Dark Hero now finally getting his chance to show. No He's like, okay, you made me block last time. Let's see if you can block me. Uh, that delay, jump D. All right, good jump out to avoid the needle there. Mm. Nice. I like to stroke the big tree into YRC to get just to close the distance. Here we yeah, go. I got him really far. Beats by Gray. Uh. One more hit can do it for not for Dark Hero to take this second round. Yeah, but the thing is that if you not get this offense started, this could be it. Nice, yeah. good any of there. You have to show you can do that. Yeah. It usually at a time like that where where the life leads is so dominant, I would say just you know kind of sit on your lead. But against in this matchup where it's so explosive, if somebody gets clipped, that could be the game. A life lead can possibly mean nothing. Yeah. I mean, especially when you're playing against a character like Eno, who is honestly like, if for a set play character, she does very high damage. Mm. Raven's definitely a character who's gonna hit you multiple times, kind of like Melia. is gonna like make you set up. That was a great command grab. Yeah. Follow Blitz. Nice, good awareness there for Dark Hero that time to realize he went for the command grab. But Nagi, honestly, locked and loaded. He's got full bar burst. He could one hit could easily close this out. Yeah, Nagi has too many resources right now. But don't count Dark Hero out. He's slowly building his resources back up, mm. getting his offense started, feeling a little bit of momentum. Oh, nice catch. Nice. Good blitz. Yep. Sets up the now note. Now him in the corner. Has to hold the note. Good blocks. And he jumps out. Yeah. Now he's got to take this last mix up. Yep. Mm. He's trying to FD to not get, uh, not get grinded out. What, what Dark Hero really needs to do in this matchup more, and I see Eno players do this, they, he needs to keep a certain distance. Because what Nagi likes to do at the start of the round, he likes to back, make space, and throw needles. And he, Dark Hero needs to be aware of that. So whenever he tries to go for the needle or like just approach in general, he can use horizontal chemical love to right. stuff in and start his offense. Yeah, I think uh, Dark Hero is mostly just trying to catch uh, Nagi's approach. But unfortunately, like, if he gets needled, then that already hinders his ability to do that by a lot. Absolutely. Good. Yeah, I don't know about that blitz. Uh, if you try to blitz in that situation, kind of just putting yourself in a 50-50 where you could just lose out on your own meter for no reason. You may as well try to block or, or jump away. Oh my god. Wow. So we people talk about how Raven is just automatically burst safe in a lot of situations. That was absurd. Yeah, it's it's one of those just this is one of those unfortunate situations where I'm not even really sure if the player himself meant to be burst safe. It mm. just, just happens yeah, to be just, that way. Raven is just burst safe. Yeah. But honestly, Dark Hero, once again, is one of those situations where if he gets just a simple start here, he can close it out. Mm. And unfortunately, that is a multi-hitting high. Yeah, I think so he was trying to just block in the air and get the air grab. Yeah. Nice. I like the use of the stroke the big tree there to avoid the needle. Well, good approach by Dark Hero. Nice. I like the use of YRC to keep yourself safe there from the orb. Yeah, no excitement for um, poor Raven, so he doesn't have a whole lot of hits on that, uh, on that ball. But you have to hold the buzz saw right now. Good open up low. Yep. And Eno doesn't have burst for a long time. And she, and she doesn't have the meter for Dart at Dangle. Nice. I like the defense here. Unfortunately, you get thrown. But if honestly, you're going to get hit by anything, just take the throw. Yeah. All right. He needs to be aware. I'm, I was going to say, I think Nagi might be trying to go for a command grab setup here. Because he's been doing a lot of those long block strings. But 
He decided to back off. Nice. Everybody avoiding everything. Unfortunately, it gets a gold burst. This is once again a very problematic situation for Dark Hero. A lot of meter. Side spin of the burst. Yeah, he can't. He can't. Ha not only can he not get opened up, but if he has to block anything, that's going to be a lot of oppression coming his way. Absolutely. Good 5P there. Once again, using some of these clutch anti ears to stop some of the offense. He needs to be able to convert off of them. Otherwise, uh, Nagi's just going to keep throwing needles and keep getting his approaches for virtually free. Okay. Dark Hero has to start of something here. Mm. Oh, goes under the chemical love. Yep. Three. Eh. This Dark is Hero has to play so perfectly for so long. Eight seconds, honestly. Mm. I'll say eight seconds is still a match that can go either way. 100%. Yeah. Wow. That was a nail biter there at the end. Yeah, it didn't look like Dark Hero was too happy about the way that ended. He felt like he could. If he just made that one last correct decision, he got so many uh, so many anti airs so many stops on Raven's uh, approach later on, like you were saying that he needed to do. Yeah. But he just didn't convert it into a knockdown that he could then node up and make him have to block the high-low. Yeah. And also, Raven was able to jump, even when he got the, the combo and the conversion, Raven was able to jump out during a lot of the, uh, the setups. Yeah, it's just one of those unfortunate situations. Maybe, I'm honestly not sure 100% if... Uh, Eno has ways to secure a knockdown off of a 5P any.